Hey peeps, welcome back to my channel. My name is Drusilla Shea, if you don't know already. This is another brush review. I know, I just did a brush review. Not long ago, I reviewed the unbrush brush, and you have to go see that review for yourself if you haven't already, I'll link it down below. I know I'm a little late to the Tangle Teaser game, but I need to try this brush because everybody and their mama is telling me about this brush. Tangle Teaser is the brand, but they do have different kinds of brushes. I specifically picked up the Fine and Fragile brush because I have fine type 4 hair. This brush is a dry and wet hair brush, which means that apparently you can use it effectively both on wet hair and dry hair. But today we're going to be trying it on wet hair. I got this in the color Marshmallow Duo. It is light pink on the front side. It's just light aqua blue at the back. Now I did purchase this on Amazon for $15.99 and I got it in one day. Prime baby! Prime. Right now my hair is sitting in conditioner. I'm using the Supernature Potent Aloe Conditioner. My hair is really tangled right now. Let's see if it can get me through the roughest time. So I didn't do any pre-pooing. I didn't do no detangling, no finger detangling, which means that when I was conditioning my hair, I had to resist the urge to rake my hair. Y'all know how hard that is? Little Harriet Tubman on the head. I think you can tell by the way that my hair isn't separating that it is tangled. Okay, here is the evidence. The moment of truth has come. I got the Tangle Teaser. Just verifying really up close that this is a Tangle Teaser. Hopefully you see the text right here. Let's see what it do. Starting off from the bottom as per usual. Okay. Okay, so this is how much hair I lost. Don't be alarmed. I don't think this is the brush's fault. My hair has not been combed for a while. It's been dry. It's been going through it. I don't want to speak too soon because I almost did that for the unbrush and if I would have just given you a review based off of like one or two parts, then I would have done you a disservice. But I'm deciding that I'm going to follow suit, do the same thing with the Tangle Teaser. Before I say too much, I'm gonna go ahead and detangle the rest of my head, but you will get to see how this works on my hair, especially if you also have fine hair. You just get to see like at least how my hair responds or reacts to the brush. So hopefully this part is helpful. I am gonna go ahead and finish off my head and then I will come back with my final thorough thoughts. I also totally forgot to do this before I started combing my hair. So y'all are gonna have to excuse me with all these little hairs in here. But I did wanna say that this brush does have a mixture of short bristles and long bristles. I'm not sure if that like makes it more effective or not, but it does have flexible bristles, which is always really, really important for people who have a fine hair. Okay, back to business.
Alrighty peeps, I have fully detangled my hair. Let's get into it. So first and foremost, there's hair in the brush. I'm not one of those YouTubers who was just like, I detangled my full head of hair and I only lost this much hair. It's never really been like that for me. And on top of that, I am due for a protein treatment. Don't pay attention to if you saw hair in the brush. It's not the brush's fault because first and foremost, what I do have to say about this uh, Tangle Teaser brush is that it is extremely gentle. Something that I remember reading on their website was that it's uh, gentle on the scalp, but it's tough on knots. So I did try like massaging this on my scalp, like just combing not only my hair, but also like, you know, kind of give my scalp a nice little comb and it felt so good. I love it on the scalp. It is very gentle. It gives it like a nice you know, light exfoliation type of massage. So love that about it. Um, but yes, the brush is very gentle. It wasn't um, tugging on my hair in any way, but I find that to be common with most brushes that have, you know, these very, very soft and flexible bristles, which is why, again, I'm saying it's an essential for anyone who has fine hair to have a brush with flexible bristles. I even have a video on essentials for people who have fine hair. I'll go ahead and link that down below as well but that's definitely on the list so it's gentle check mark on that on the same note I think that it was so gentle that it was not as they say tough on the knots they claim that it's tough on knots but I did not find that to be true at all when it came to like especially the back of my hair the middle of my hair where you know it gets the most knotty it was not fun I found myself getting very tired because I had to continue to go over the knots over and over and over and over it felt like it was not effectively detangling the parts that were very very knotted I even had to like separate some parts even more and make this section even smaller in order to detangle because it was not getting through the knots very well at all. I was getting very tired, my arms were just tired. It's very hard because I'm really used to the unbrushed brush at this point. And when it came to that brush, I realized I was able to detangle way faster, even though my hair was very, very knotty as well when I tried that brush. I was able to get through it and it worked on knots very well. So coming from that and then trying the Tangle Teaser, I'm like, nah, the unbrushed brush still got it like that. I'm able to be more efficient without damaging my hair or being rough on my hair. So I believe that when it comes to the Tangle Teaser, when my hair is in a very, very knotted state, I don't plan on using it. So if I'm really upkeeping my hair, I don't mind using this brush and interchanging it with the unbrushed. But in cases like this where my hair is really not and in need of TLC I'm probably not gonna pick this up with that being said let's talk about the actual handle the handles is nice in terms of the length however I'm not sure what's up with these companies not putting like very very good grips on their handles I'm just envisioning something that has more of like a rubbery grip something that you'll be able to hold on to very well if you have conditioner or water in your hand and that's the thing a lot of times when I'm detangling I have water and conditioner and sometimes I'm applying more and so it's on my hand then I end up you know holding the brush and it's like slipping out of my hand so I have to end up holding it like this so if you ever saw me in the video holding the brush like this it's because it was slipping from my hand this is not just like a tangled teaser thing this is something that I feel like a lot of brands can work on um, even if they don't have a rubbery grip on there just work on the texture of the handle so that it's not something that can easily slip I recommend this brush but not over the unbrush I am still team unbrush and um, I know I've talked about the wet brush a lot too in my videos now that was like my original OG brush however the unbrushed trumped the uh, wet brush and I would say that this is kind of similar to the wet brush as well I have tried a lot of brushes on this channel and off this channel I tried the easy detangler the Denman brush the wet brush the curl brush the unbrush is a lot of brushes out of all these brushes the unbrush still takes the number one spot I believe somebody had asked me in my unbrush video how does it compare to the tangle teaser the unbrush is still um, way more effective in detangling especially if your hair is really knotty it gets through it faster it's more pain free I've used it also on dry hair don't tell, don't tell nobody that's our secret works perfectly fine it cuts down my time of detangling I timed this I actually spent like 40 minutes 
detangling my hair with this. With the unbrush, I believe I spent like 20 minutes. It was like super fast. When my hair is really, really tangled like that, 20 minutes is nothing. This is still a good brush. I still actually plan on using this brush, but I know when to use it and when not to use it. I will still go ahead and link the Tangle Teaser down below in the description box in case you're interested in trying it out for yourself. I will still go ahead and also link the unbrush down below because that's something that I recommend more than this one to be honest with you. If you have any other questions, comments, and concerns about the Tangle Teaser or anything else that I said in this video, go ahead and meet me down in the comments. With that being said, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you find it helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Please, while you are there, you're going to be so close to that red subscribe button that you might as well click it real fast. Okay, join the family. And also, please turn on your bell notification button so that anytime I post, you'll be up to date. I will catch you all in my next video next Sunday, God willing. God bless you. Deuces.